my guys welcome back to my channel today I'm gonna do a um, contour and highlighting video I'm just gonna use some products that I'm currently using my makeup's all done um, I've done my primer which is the bare essentials um, neutralizer in medium and I am just gonna start off doing a little bit of concealer I'm gonna use this for any spots that I want to cover up um, I am using the Mac uh, Pro Longwear Concealer in NW25. Um, so all you need is a teeny tiny little dab. And I'm just going to put that on any little spots. Now, I know there's a bunch of different ways to contour and highlight. I am currently on a powder um, contour kit kick, um, and I'm using the Kat Von D sh uh, Shade and Light palette. It looks like this on the inside. To get my foundation, I'm going to do a little splotch on my hand like this. Ooh, it comes out super fast. I don't need that much. I'm gonna mix in this W5 as well and I just swirl it around with my finger. I use a, a flat foundation brush. Um, I am using the brand Sh Shaney. It might be Shaney. I'm not, to be honest, I'm not sure. I got it online. Um, but it is a pretty great brush. It had a lot of good reviews on it. Um, and I actually got, all my brushes are from there because I got kind of a whole big pack thing. I just dab a little bit on here. Once I'm done and I feel like it's evenly dispersed all over my face, I'm going, this is the one brush that I don't have that's that Shaney brand. Um, this is the Real Techniques uh, stippling brush. I absolutely love this brush. It just blends everything really, really well. So I just kind of go in and I use just a mixture of dabbing and like a little bit of circle motion depending on what area, like on the side of my nose where I kind of still need to get it in this area, I'm gonna totally dab it but on my nose I want to on the top of my nose I want to kind of like brush it around a little bit it is time for highlighting and contouring I use a slanted eyeshadow brush um, again the Shaney brand, it's the E20. With my skin tone, I use this medium color. Um, okay, but go ahead and use, you know, whatever color you feel is two shades lighter than your skin. So I start down the bridge of the nose, and I just get that line there. I'm gonna blend it up the forehead a bit more. And to make almost a little V shape in between the eyebrows and going up a little past the middle of my forehead and go ahead Ooh, it's in my nose and kind of layer it on um, I do from the corner of my mouth almost a straight line back pointing a little bit down And I don't get much on my brush right away um, anyway, so that's why I'm doing like three or four layers each is because I don't want like a big clump as soon as I put this down. So, I, you know, it takes me a bit to get the product on because um, I, I literally just tap it. So I'm not getting much product on there right away. So if you feel like I'm using a ton of product, I'm really not initially. And then, so I'm going to be putting a dark um, contour line right here, but I'm also going to try to get a little lighter one down here, and I don't want that to be as light as the rest, so I'm going to do about two swipes. And that's just going to make that dark line pop. I want to get a little bit in my cupid's bow, right down the center of my chin, and even though I already have some highlighting eyeshadow, right under my eyebrows. I'm gonna go and put a little bit more in there because I went over it a bit with my foundation. Again, I'm going in with this medium color 
I'm doing, you know, a few light little taps. I'm not rubbing because that kind of spreads the product that picks it up and that's wasting your product. I'll, I will start with my cheek. Again, I want to go right above that highlighted line in just a straight line. I go from the middle of my ear, which I start, there's like a little divot, you know, where your jawbone is. That's where I start. And then I just go draw it towards the corner, top corner of my mouth. And I stop right where that little highlight here from the corner of my mouth um, ends. And then I do lines under my chin. This doesn't have to be too neat. You're going to blend this like crazy. Um, I typically don't put any farther, but I am going to just because I'm feeling blotchy. So I'm going to take a break from my little slanted brush there. Very lightly brush it like super light. You do not want to get a ton on here. And I'm just going to brush it like half circle, you know, from the top of my forehead down to my temple here. I'm going to get a bit more. And we will still blend this, but this kind of gets the blending party started a teeny tiny bit. And go ahead and go, you know, all the way to the end of your temple there. For the fun part is the nose. Um, I'm still kind of working on this part. I don't know if I totally have it perfected, but this is what I do. So I take back to my little eyeshadow makeshift contouring blender brush here. What I do for this whew, is I take, I tap the edge of it now so that it's more of like a sleek line and kind of like roll it onto the, the top pointed part because I don't want this line to be thick like these. I want a very thin dark line. Sorry, I totally got like zoned out there. And then I also come down to a point to about right there. Don't go too heavy with this unless you feel that you need to. Um, I felt like sometimes I've done it a bit darker and it looks like I stuck my nose in mud, I swear. And I go right across under the bridge of my nose. And that's gonna give that kind of fake little button nose look that, you know, we all envy for. And then a little bit more on the temple coming from right under the end of the eyebrow. Make that a little bit darker than what we already have. And now it's, we're ready to go. We're ready for the day. I'm just kidding. Um, now it's time to blend. I start on the areas that are highlighted and buff away. It looks like a gopher. Look, I've already put foundation on. I don't need a whole lot of coverage. Um, I could definitely use a translucent powder to kind of set it, but I'm going to use this to set it. Um, and I'm going to use a little tiny bit of translucent powder at the very end. But this is what we're doing. This is, um, again, the NARS. It's the color I use is Beach. They have a shade darker and a shade lighter than this. I'm obsessed with this product. Get it. It's great. A little spendy, but worth it. So just kind of go in. I start out just tapping the powder in. Um, just kind of all over, but then go in and buff it in a circle. And now we're gonna go in and we're gonna do the under eye. Now we're gonna grab the brush. Okay, so for this one, um, I am going to actually use that lighter shade that I haven't been using. Not this one, this one. I'm gonna take the same little brush. And again, just a little bit of tap, tap, tap. I'm gonna start in the corner, I'll get nice and close. I'm not sure why I'm like singing this right now. Get all the way under the eye. I'll put more mascara on later because I'm kind of covering that right now. And just make a nice little triangle. And we're gonna go and we're gonna use the gentler brush for the under eye. This is not the one that I wanted. This fan brush. Um, I don't wanna use this one on my under eye because under eyes are very sensitive. This one's a little more coarse and I'm trying to preserve my youth as much as possible. So just go under there and sweep it. Um, next we're gonna do 
blush. Start right above that dark line. Then it is time to go in with the um, Illuminator. This is uh, the Sephora brand. It's called Light Beam 02. I'm going to use the same brush that I did for blush and just apply that. And then I want to take my handy dandy little slanted brush and go a teeny tiny bit over those highlighted areas. And then again, just kind of, I'm taking that buffer bronzer brush and just tapping it a bit so that it blends nicely. Finally, the Tarte Amazon Clay um, Smooth Operator. It's a finishing powder that I'm going to use actually just under my eyes. So take a little teeny tiny bit, and this stuff flies everywhere, so don't inhale because it'll go straight up your nose and make sneeze. So just got a teeny tiny bit. I'm going to take that same brush that I used to put my pressed powder on, the um, medium powder brush. Swirl it around, see it, you can probably see it like floating everywhere. Tap off the excess. First step is under eye. That I tap on. <sighs> Yuck. So remember I tap and then very lightly with this just kind of brush it away. Once you're all finished, take a teeny tiny bit. And again, just go over those lines. I'm gonna do that just for the sake of doing it. And then that way that color is right on top and you just wanna remember to buff it in. And that's pretty much it. So I hope you enjoyed and uh, stay tuned for more videos. Bye!